lamb wraps in a sort of street food style. I've got two 300 grams, 600 grams in total of uh, Welsh lamb leg steaks. They're lovely little steaks, they'll cut up nicely. I'm just going to cut those up into small cubes. In addition to that, I've got about a fairly large brown onion chopped up, roughly chopped. I've got a clove of garlic, but that's the only one I've got left. I wanted uh, three or four, so I'm, I've, I've added some, uh, about a teaspoon and a half, maybe two teaspoons of garlic granules. I've got some mixed herbs. These are not the ones on the label, but they are um, a Middle Eastern mixed herb mix. As long as you've got something like uh, oregano, yeah, you can have mint, oregano, parsley, any number of um, those Mediterranean type herbs, or just some herbe de Provence, which is going to do the job just as well. Um, I've got some salt, got some pepper, got a lemon, got an unwaxed lemon. I always use unwaxed lemons. And um, I've got some of these nice, soft, uh, like tortilla wraps. But they're really good. These are special soft ones, so they should wrap up nicely. So I'm going to do this in a, not like a, a, a donut kebab, in a pita bread. I'm going to do it in a, in a rolled up... Um, wrap in a street food style with some salad and some sauces so um, all that's left to do at this time tonight is for me to chop this up and get it marinated and then uh, everything else will be done tomorrow after it's had time to marinate so you'll see i'm just cutting it into uh, strips and then cubing it up into this small sort of dice size cubes and they'll be perfectly good they'll marinate and i'm leaving the fat in there because the fat will help crisp up and make the whole thing super delicious you can trim the fat off if you like but it, the end result won't be quite as good um you can also use a uh, shoulder i'm using leg steaks but you can also use a shoulder of lamb for this because it's a nice tender cut. Okay, so I'm putting it into this uh, nice stainless steel bowl for now. Just get all that in there. And into that I want my onion, all of it. And I'm going to work on this little bit of garlic. So let's get this, that's the garlic granules, they can go in and I'm going to need about a teaspoon of salt on there and another teaspoon in the pot with the meat, so that'll do. Okay, and then I'm just going to smash that up and crush it a little bit and the way I do that is I just push down on the blade and draw it back like that and then just keep repeating that until it's all nice and smashed up and you'll see that you can see it glistening as the oil comes out of the garlic that's really nice that is and then straight in the pan don't need to mess around with this too much very nice and then there's a couple of more flavorings I want to get in there and that is some black pepper and I love my black pepper and a bit more for look and also I want to get in some of the, my herbs so let's have a look what we've got here that's about a teaspoon and then a bit more about the same so two teaspoons of nice dried herbs on top of that so, I want a nice glug of olive oil, and I'm using uh, extra virgin olive oil here. And I'll put a couple of three tablespoons of that in there. And one last thing I need, oops, a bit of garlic there, got that escaped. Uh, I just want to give this a quick rub, it helps the juice flow. And what I 
I'm going to do is just cut off two of those, flick out any pips because we don't want those in the lamp, and I'll get one of those. And what I do is I drop the lemon in there and leave it to marinade because it gives a great, great flavour and aromatic. So it's just those two. So what's that? The equivalent of about three tablespoons of lemon juice. So I've got about three tablespoons of olive oil and three tablespoons of lemon juice in there. And this bit I'll wrap up and use tomorrow. And then I just get in there with my hands. I leave the lemon in, like I said, because it gives it good, really good flavour. So this is a very basic Mediterranean Greek style, similar to Turkish style marinade. Very simple, equal quantities of lemon juice, olive oil, with some uh, nice Mediterranean style herbs. So I'm just going to now leave that, and I'll leave that covered in my fridge overnight and just allow that to marinate. I expect the meat to change a bit colour, perhaps go a little darker, uh, but we'll see tomorrow. And then we'll pick this up uh, in what is to me tomorrow, but you in a couple of minutes. So here we are, second day, day two. My meat is marinated nicely in the fridge. I'll take that out in a minute and show you. I'm just going to make up a little uh, salad to go in the wraps along with the lamb. And I'm just tearing up this little beautifully named sweetheart lettuce because it is lovely. Look at it. And then I'll uh, tear that up and add it to the salad. Nice little lettuce. I particularly like icebergs very much they don't have much about much to them they're crunchy i suppose but they don't really have a lot of flavor do they okay right um i'm gonna get a bit of cucumber in that cucumber i've got a couple of pieces of red pepper I'm just cutting that into slivers like that. Tomato, I'll just do it, uh, just cut it into little slivers along the radius like that. And drop that in. There we go. This little fella, I'll just shave it off. And really that simple. I do I do that often with carrots. It just makes life a bit simpler. And then just turn the carrot as you need to. And you see one carrot makes a substantial amount of salad that way. I quite like it. So this is gonna be quite a carrot rich salad, so nice and sweet. But you can add whatever vegetables you like really, it's up to you. Whatever you like in your salad. I'm going to keep that bit to munch on. Right. That goes all in there. And I think I'll just leave it like that for now, cover it and put it back in the fridge. So there's the lamb. It's been marinating overnight and uh, as predicted, it's turned a little bit darker. So um, I'll be taking out those bits of lemon. They've done their job now. And um, we'll get this transferred across to the baking tray. All right, so there it is tipped out. You can see all the onion now into the tray. And we'll, we'll heat the oven up to um, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. A little bit higher if you've not got a fan oven so you can probably take it up another what 10 10 degrees and just spread that out quite evenly like that and then that goes into the oven just as it is 
and it bakes until it's cooked basically so you can cook it till it's um, looks like it's just done till it's just brown on top or you can cook it till it's fairly crispy that is your choice and whoever likes what and uh, I think we'll have ourselves a nice little wrap from that all right let's get it baked all right so for dressing my wraps I've got some uh, garlic mayonnaise which I made up earlier a little bit of garlic just just a garlic clove in, in some mayonnaise and I want also want to show you my sauce which I call Conrad sauce and all it is it's a mixture of uh, tomato ketchup sriracha sauce and mint sauce and I call it Conrad sauce because my friend Conrad was the first one to show it to me and it's quite simple let's just get it going Oops, brand new packet. There we go. So I'm going to want about, I don't know, a third of a cup of ketchup. That's the bulk of the sauce. And then we want some of this uh, sriracha sauce. I've got an older bottle here. So I'll just use that. I'm going to use up my old stuff first. And then you're going to want, what, about a tablespoon of that, maybe a little more. So I'll use that. And then the last thing, and unusually, is some British mint sauce. Now, there's a recipe uh, for mint sauce which you can make from fresh mint, and it should appear up here around about now. It'll also be in the description below the video. So I'm going to put in one, two heaped teaspoons of that and then that's it it's as simple as that boys and girls and uh, once you've tried it with this kebab you'll know you'll know why I like it so much so it adds a little bit of spicy it adds the freshness of mint which always goes well with lamb and uh, who doesn't like ketchup not many have a taste yeah that is bang on the money Right, so that's now ready to use, and we'll get the wraps all made up. All right, let's have a look at this. Oh yes, oh yes, there you are, that's rather good, I'll turn everything off. That's really nice. Let's get you in a bit closer on that. That does look good. Okay, it's time to make up the wraps. Let me a little salad out. There's my little salad. Right, let's get some of these sauces on it. On with a bit, a couple of teaspoons of the Conrad sauce. A bit of garlic mayonnaise. And on with some of the kebab. That's the lamb. That looks good, doesn't it? A couple of scoops of that, I think. And then dress that with a little bit of salad. A little bit more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the bottom up. And then turn the sides up like that. To make a nice tasty wrap and that will sit nicely like that on a plate it's trying to come apart but uh, I think you get what I mean so I'm going to hand that across to my brother now and he's going to enjoy that okay once again a couple of splashes of uh, sriracha sauce the, this is the Conrad sauce, made from sriracha, ketchup and English mint sauce. I'll spread that out a bit. bit of garlic mayonnaise. On with the lamb. Very nice look. 
on with a bit of salad. I'll take you in close on that, let you have a good look. That does look good. And I'll do the fold again just to show you. Up with the bottom, in with the sides. And then onto a plate and down my neck. Enjoy. Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.